guys and welcome back. It's a little breezy today, so bear with me. Today we're gonna take the TYM 574 out for a spin. And I'm gonna let Eric be the first one to use it. caved in. Gosh, it'd certainly be nice if I had a backhoe to dig this thing out. It'd take forever by hand. Alright, Cole. Get back to work. Oh. Did you mean a backhoe? Get back here! Guys, whatever, call your one home. You'll get back to work. <laughs> Here, there's actually a culvert pipe that runs from the neighbor's muck field under the road and over to here. You can see how swampy this area is. All this water, it just comes right over the road. Any heavy rain, it fills this ditch and it floods the road. And you can see that water right there. Um, I think Eric's gonna take some of this muck and put it down there. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, this sort of stuff like gives me nightmares at night. <laughs> but Eric doesn't seem to mind at all, so. Hold on, you gonna hit the tree. Or just run it over, I guess. At least the ground's a little more solid on this side. Man, it doesn't matter which angle you go, you're always just slightly off. <laughs> you know, you're never like right on it, but it'll still be a lot better than what it was. And that's plenty deep enough. Whoa! That muck just sucked it right up. If you bought a brand new truck or a brand new sports car, will let your wife be the first one to use it. I'd say Eric's pretty lucky that he gets to be the first one to try out my brand new TYM. He's definitely having fun with it.
this is the trench line from the John Deere from years ago. Once upon a time, it had been this deep, but over time it kind of caved in. The downside about digging out the ditch like that is some of our hay implements actually ride the ditch line on the way down to the field. So I'm gonna have to really be careful that they don't fall down the side. So it was an issue a couple years ago when this was brand new. So that's the one area that's been a sticky point was right there. And part of it is because the water would come down this ditch and it would just flood from the neighbor's field over and from the ditch line over. It would just flood that whole road, so. I have a feeling I think it's overpowered for the size of tractor that it's on. Um, um, Eric's buddy Jason also said with tractors that are smaller, you definitely want to make sure they have loaded tires just so that you can compensate for the lack of weight. So that might be something we'll do too. I don't know. Would you guys say it's underpowered or overpowered? Put your comments down below. It was actually pulling the tractor. At one point it pulled it three feet, even with the parking brake engaged. Um, that was when Eric was heading into the heavy, thick, wet clay. guys well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that uh, and i'll definitely keep you posted on how that ditch does later when we get ready to do hay and honestly we decided to do this first just because the ground is somewhat dry um you can see it's actually got some cracks in it right now we haven't had a lot of we haven't had much rain but the other thing is i kind of need the backhoe off so i can get into the pasture and clean it out so this is the perfect time to try out the backhoe get the ditch dug out of the way don't have to worry about that and who knows what springtime will bring we could have like torrential showers that could flood that whole road so this ditch will definitely be a major aid in that you see the grass is starting to grow the weeds are starting to grow um and there's lots of bare patches i actually just got some new grass seed ordered so that should be coming it's gonna be busy so if i'm not in the comments or on social media a whole lot guys i'm not trying to ignore you i love answering your comments and such sometimes it's just a time issue and right now i gotta concentrate on getting this stuff done while still trying to show you what's happening out here love you guys thank you so much and again stop over say hi to stony for me give this video a big thumbs up love you guys and subscribe if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button thanks guys love you bye and definitely guys Take some time to check out a TYM dealer near you.